It's Monday. We love it because Paul Barris has another adoptable pet at the Humane Educational Society. We'll meet Handsome Dan. He's a two-year-old domestic long hair. Hi, Paul. Hi, everybody. Got a great kitty cat for you this time, and he's got a fantastic name. This is Handsome Dan. That's right, Handsome Dan. As you can tell, he's very handsome. He's very proud of how he looks. He's got these big cheeks. He's a long-haired cat, and he's going to be available at the Humane Society at noon that's right at 4155 randolph circle so uh, handsome dan is the type of cat that just loves to sit on your lap and you can pet him all day long he'll be happy he just has to eat on occasion <laughs> and then you can sort of squeeze his cheeks too he knows that uh, you're going to want to squeeze his cheeks the only problem is once you say well i got to go handsome dan and you put him down the floor He'll get a little upset. He'll go, oh, why aren't you, why are you putting me down? It was so comfortable. And, on, and when they put, when he came onto my lap right here just a second ago, he just, he just wanted to stay. He didn't fight or anything. So he's going to be a great kitty cat, a family cat for somebody. Now he's FIV positive, which means that uh, he's going to be the, he needs to be the only cat in the house unless you have another FIV positive. Uh, so that's, this is not uh, a disease that's, that's going to kill them or, or hurt you in any way. But we've done that in the past, and, and they're great cats. But again, you don't want to uh, spread that, uh, that FIV all through. Uh, if you've got a bunch of cats at your house, you don't want to do that. So again, he's going to be a great kitty cat for somebody. And again, check him out tomorrow. All right, Paul, thank you. And how about that handsome Dan, huh? If you'd like to adopt Dan or any of his friends there, you can make a call uh, to go uh, do an appointment or just stop by. They open tomorrow at noon. The Humane Educational Society is working to clear their shelter, waiving fees this week and partnering with Hills Pet Nutrition to do so. This week, Hills will provide a $5,000 bonus grant to the two shelters who receive the most individual donations. So you can help them out. Donate on HES's website.